Looks like we're hopping into the Wayback Machine. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Generation 1 Soundwave! So here we are, and there he is, and usually, first and foremost, I would take a quick look at the packaging, but I do not have the original packaging for this toy, but I do have uh, an empty bottle of uh, Listerine Fresh Burst. It's fresh. That's all I got. Here. That was loud. So moving right along, here we have a G1 Soundwave, an oldie but a goodie. Let's go back in time, shall we? Let's go back in time for a little bit. But before we talk about Soundwave himself, we need to bring in an old friend. We need to bring in the Transformers Bible. Yay! So if we open our Bibles to page 30, we have lots of glare, we have Soundwave, and his function, communications, his motto, cries and screams are music to my ears. It is said Soundwave can hear a fly sneeze, uses anything he hears for blackmail to advance his status, opportunist, despised by all other Decepticons, sensors can detect even lowest energy radio transmissions, able to read minds by monitoring electrical brain impulses, acts as radio link for others, locates and identifies Autobots, then informs Decepticons, carries a concussion blaster gun, often target of retaliation by his comrades. So there is the story of Soundwave, even though it sounds a little bit more like Starscream, but hey, it is what it is. But Soundwave, there he is, he's a little cassette player, we know what he is, he's a little cassette player. He just turns into a little box, basically. Oh, look at him. He's getting closer. You can see we have this cassette in there already. Of course we have the rub symbol, which may or may not work. Mm, let's try it. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, will it, will it, will it, will it? Fingers crossed, good, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, it worked. He's a Decepticon, in case you didn't already know. There you go. And, you know, lots of stickers on it, because it's G1, it had a lot of stickers on it. You have R, you have L, in case you don't know what side is what. Play buttons, record stuff, stereo micro recorder, side, that little, I'm guessing that's the volume control. Got a little slider here that can move up and down. And that's pretty much it. Stuff on the back. His little head is just kind of peeking up there. high. Oh, you can do that if you want to. But yeah, it's Soundwave. It's Soundwave. Use a little box. And push the button. Boop. And the tape deck opens. And we have his little minion. Not Laserbeak, but Buzzsaw. That is who is, that's who came packed with him back in the day. You had to buy Laserbeak separate. But now let's bring the Bible Back in and open to page 31. And there you have Buzzsaw. And his function, spy. His motto, my bite is worse than my bark. Civil and sophisticated, yet very cruel and destructive, approaches his lethal tasks like a fine artist. Each deadly mission is like working on a new masterpiece, can pinpoint and photograph a thumbtack from 20 miles away, flies at 250 miles per hour, carries twin mortar cannons, diamond hard micro serrated beak can carve up almost any opponent, due to large ego will often sulk rather than proceed if his plans go astray. And that is the story of Buzzsaw. And here's Buzzsaw in his cassette mode. Here's a repro labeled. I have repro labels on all my G1 toys, so these are all repro labels. That's why the uh, stickers look nice and pristine, because they are brand new. But a nice stick of detailing there to make it look like an actual cassette. On the other side, you can see most of him right here. But yeah. So. There you have Soundwave, there you have a Buzzsaw, so let's get down to a transformation, shall we? <laughs> it's, it's, Soundwave spins better. But first we'll start off with Soundwave. So to transform him, very simple, it's a G1 toy, so of course it's simple. Let's take the legs, bring them down, rotates, flip out his foot, like so. Second verse, same as the first, bring down the leg, rotates, foot, foot, ping. And we got his legs all done. Stand for me, man. Stand for me. He's old. He doesn't like to stand. 
Then you take his arms and you just untab them from the sides, bring them out, push them in, untab, bring out, push in. Fists are on sliders, you just slide them forward. So they come out, slide, 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 there we go. Like so, flip on his head, turn it around, and there you have Soundwave in his robot mode. And that sure is a G1 Soundwave right there. It's as G1-y as you can get. It's all boxy, but boxy goodness nonetheless. You gotta look at the head sculpt here. Yellow for the eyes, get some silver there as well. Get some sticker detailing there on the shoulders, around the wrists. Stickers on the knees, stickers going down to the shins. There's big old die cast feet. Move up the back. Nothing really new. Mine is kind of floppy. <laughs> hey, he's an old toy. He's old. Now, articulation wise, the head can rotate. I do the transformation. You can look up. You can do that. The squirrel. You can do that. You know. Arms can do a full 360. And that's you get a little bit of wiggle, wiggle there. Elbows, 90 degrees, uh, nothing at the wrist, nothing at the waist, legs, can move forward, kinda, can move out, if you turn them out, they can do that, you know, you can do that, um, you, stay, stay close, you, stop, hey, 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 no, oh. he's, <laughs> He's disintegrating right in front of us. As far as his knees, uh, they only bend the wrong way. And his feet can move up. Do the transformation. It's a G1 toy. What do you expect? Now, as far as the weaponry goes, uh, his weapons are stored in the uh, battery compartment here, which I always thought was clever. Let's open that up and pop these out. Close up his back. And we have his shoulder cannon. Plugs right in there to complete the look. And then we just extend this gun and we bring in this chrome piece. And there you have his gun, which can peg into his hands. So it can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. So there you have that. And now let's transform buzzsaw here. So transform buzzsaw. Again, very simple, just Bring the legs down, flip out the wings, slide his little head out, like so, and then we bring in his weapons here, which are separate pieces. You have to uh, plug these in, like so. And this one on mine, for some reason, is a bit looser than the other one. But there you go, and there you have Bassa with chromed out guns. Little gold eye. There he is. Articulation wise, it can move up and down. Neck can move up and down. His little feet can move out a little bit. The wings, you have some posability there. You can kind of splay them out. Have as much as you want there. Leave them kind of tucked in. Totally up to you what you want to do. So there you have Buzzsaw. There you have Soundwave. And there you have that. And now for God. For comparison, here he is with Siege Soundwave and Laser Beak. Here he is with Masterpiece Soundwave and Masterpiece Laser Beak. Let's see how that works out. And here he is with Old Trigger Crotch. G1 Megatron. So, there you go. So, there you have a G1 Soundwave. He's an oldie, but a goodie. He's old as crap, but dang it, I still love him. So, there you go. Now, if you would like one of your own, um, just, you know, look around. You know, <laughs> eBay, yard sales, flea markets, conventions. You know, just, just look around. But for all your other Transformers needs, you can check out BigBadToyStore.com. There will be a link in the description down below. You can also check out the G1 playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. 
And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Lori Plan. Follow me on Twitter. All that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the G1 Soundwave. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Boom in your face. You know something, Soundwave? Yes, Lord Megatron. Now I just realized something. Having a cannon on my arm this big just really doesn't work out. It seems you did not think this through. I was going for a look of intimidation, but it's really just wildly impractical. Your trigger also being where it is does not help. Yeah, people just laugh.